Hey peoples, DMX101, you saw the titles. It's just a quick introduction to it and as to why I've done it. There's a lot of people hit me up on Facebook, hit me up on Skype and a few of the other messaging services. Andy, 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 how do I do this? How do I set dip switches? How do I run lights together? Etc. And it's all down to DMX. A lot of people say to me, ah DMX, it's a waste of time. I'm happy running master to slave, sound to light, and it's too hard to set up. Well, if you're already running master to slave, sound to light, then you're already running DMX cables. So why master slave all of your fixtures together separately when you can run one cable into one fixture, out to another fixture, out to another fixture, etc., and chain them all together? It's the same setup time, peoples. Once you've programmed your DMX, nine times out of ten, all your chases and all your colours will stay the same over and over again for venue to venue. The only thing that will change is if you're running movers, scanners, or something like an effect like that, then you're going to have to, the only thing you're going to have to change is the actual movement of the scanners or the movers as to where they're pointing. And to be honest with you, a few minutes work, it makes such a show for you. A lot of people say I use UC3. The UC3 controllers that ADJ provide, a lot of other companies provide like it. They're alright, they have their place. They give you blackout so you can turn all your lights off at once on that circuit, i.e. The, the UC3 controller can go into one light and you master slave it. Then you need another UC3 controller for a different type of light and master slave it, etc. etc. So you end up with a big bunch of UC3 controllers, and then you forget which is which. Why? DMX. Control each light individually or as a group, and it makes life so much easier for your customers and your clients. They get a fantastic light show. And it makes things so much better for you. You imagine, if anybody went to Las Vegas or has seen Mikey Mike's The Uplighting seminar that he put on to YouTube, then, like he said, you can change the colour of the room, you can change the uplighting, but not only that, if you're using a moving head or a scanner even you can get away with, they want to take photographs of the cake. You point the mover or the scanner at the cake, you can spotlight it, there's a load of light over there. The photographer is going to love you. He's going to recommend you. The bride and groom are going to love you. They're going to recommend you. The first dance, if need be on the first dance, you can spotlight that first dance of the bride and groom with DMX. But it's got to be DMX. You can't just have it sound to light and running all over the place. Where are your lights meant to be? On the dance floor or around the room. So if you use DMX, you can control where you're putting them. Basically, guys and girls, I learnt DMX in around about three months and I didn't have any of this. I picked up little bits from other videos over the internet. From YouTube, I picked up quite a little bit of DMX from a few other places where people have tried to cobble together DMX. But what I'm going to do is go back to the basics and from the start put you in the right direction and try and do it step by step, like I said, in short bursts. So you can take the info in, you can go away and play with the information I've given you, play with your own lights and come back and learn a little bit more. Hope to see you watching in the next video. If you like the idea, subscribe to the videos. Please subscribe to the channels. And if there's anything you want in particular me to cover and you think I might miss, I'm going to try and cover everything. But if you think I'm going to miss it or there's something in particular you want to see, that's what the comment section is below for. Write in it. I will answer you. I do watch my YouTube channel and reply to any messages or any comments left. And we're going to take it from there. Take care, guys.